Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Crane of the Heart, and I am here with a fun Halloween card. So last year I had bought this um, Recollections, I think I got it on clearance at the end of last year, or sometime last year, and it was a Recollections Halloween paper pad, so I need to force myself to use this sucker, try to use this for all my Halloween projects this year. So, um... The only problem is, of course, you use all your favorite papers first, and then you got to try to be creative with the stuff that's left, and that's probably why we don't finish paper pads. So anyway, this is a five and a half by four and a quarter card base. I like the paper that I am using today, and so I'm just going to go ahead and put this on there. So I learned that I need to face the paper when I put it on, otherwise it will be hopelessly crooked. Okay, so here we go. Now I am using a black mat, and this is embossed with a cuddle bug folder. I believe it's candy, got candy or something like that. Very, very cute. And so that's gonna go um, right here. I'll put a good amount of sticky on here because I find that stuff doesn't want to stick once you've done an emboss on it. Okay, so this is going to go a little bit further down here because I've got a sentiment I'm going to put on the top. And my main image today is super cute. It's from one of my favorite cartridges, Teddy Bear Parade. I opted to... Um, cut everything out and not use the teddy bear faces from Peachy Keen this time and I think it came out very very cute so this might be for a little bit of treats for my my babies one of my babies maybe my boy okay so let me go ahead and get all of this stuff off right here now I've got some ribbon I've been trying to use my stash this is some ribbon that I made a while ago and I, I find that I like to make the ribbon all at one time because it is time-consuming and it is really really messy because I use my sprays and I mean it's a good way to use up my sprays because I have a lot of them so I feel like oh I use my sprays yay me so I'm just gonna tie this in kind of a a messy sort of knot. So, and then I'm gonna see if I can't do a bow. I have enough ribbon here to even do a bow. Could be like a little messy bow because it's Halloween. I don't know if the boy will be bothered by my putting a bow on it. I think it's out it's too girly. He tends to not complain so much if I make it. Okay, so trim it down a little bit more. Okay, and then let's kind of get a more scrunchy kind of look there. Okay, so uh, that's looking good. And then, last but not least, is just a simple happy haunting. I think this is from MFT, from My Favorite Things, from one of their stamp sets, one of their older ones, I think. I can't remember which one it is because it's one of the, um, the girls... So it's an older, it's an older one. So it's hidden around here somewhere. Oh, here it is right here. It fell on the ground. It's called Trick or Treat with Who's That Girl. And this is a particularly cute one. I don't know if they still sell this one. I'm here and here. Hold on. I store my stuff in these little um, envelopes and... 
here and there it's bothering me but this is the stamp set really really cute stamp set actually and so I really like that one but yeah that's where the sentiment came from so here is the completed card I think it's really cute it's not too fancy or anything I think it's perfect for Halloween thank you for watching today this is Cindy the Queen with the Heart